Morning everybody, just a quickie. As you can see, I'm trying to put um, little identity collars on the kittens. I've had to keep taking a few of them off because if I don't put them tight enough, they can get their front legs through. So through the night, I had to keep sort of taking a few off. So I was reluctant to sort of put them on, to have them too tight. But if I don't have them tight enough, I say their front legs get through, they end up, you know, I hurt them obviously. So I'm just going to jump in again in a minute and try to get them a bit tighter and put the ones back on the ones that have come off, I've taken off. Um, and I can obviously uh, identify and give them some names. Um, I might actually cut the collars down width ways and cut them short, um, not so wide. Um, might be an idea as well, just to make it a bit easier for them to not be, you know, such deep collars. Hey, Connor's doing great. Chief, um, today is a lot cleaner. Where are you, darling? Just been on my shoulder. He's been outside. Just we had a morning cup of tea. Haven't you? He's washing himself all over. Very, very clingy today. Still not really eating. Um, we have got a water fountain coming today, which will hopefully help him um, drink more water. Where are you going? You're going on to my mess. Um, but anyway, yeah, so just a quickie. Um, so hopefully later I'll be able to um, allocate the collars and name the kittens for you. You'll be able to know. Yes, what's all that about? Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I've got to try and get Chief eating a bit more. Um, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, Con is worried about Chief now. What is the matter? I'm just quick look at the babies while she's gone. There you go. I'm going to jump in there say, and sort them. I'm going to take the collars off, I think, cut them down and uh, put them back on again in a minute. I'll catch you later. So I've just um, thinned down the collars and uh, reallocated them. And we'll see these stay on a bit better. Some of them have got such big necks that so I might have to swap them around again. But it's just initially until they get a bit bigger, I can recognise them a bit more. That I can at least um, give them some names and sex them. And it gives me a chance to sort of decide which ones I'm keeping as well. Um, they're so similar right now. But as you see, that's a lot better around their neck. It's a lot thinner. Um, and uh, I made them a bit shorter as well, so hopefully that they won't get their feet in amongst them now. Connie might still chew them off or something, but uh, they did well apart from the fact they were just a bit too loose before. Um, so obviously I've got to check these daily as well, make sure, you know, so the kittens grow, they don't get too tight. And then I'll buy in the collars again and, and reallocate them when they're bigger and with the thicker collars again. It's nice to be able to sort of people to have names them and bit, sort of follow them. As, uh, as I video them going forward, and you start to see the characters as well. Right, okay. Let's go see Chief because he's nagging me to spend some time with him. So we'll leave these babies to feed. <coughs> go, Connie, catch you later. So, Chief's having a bit of time out in the sunshine. Now he's feeling a little bit better. Well, Bentley's on my lap having his cuddle, aren't you, Bentley? Every morning we'll come out and um, he comes to see me. That's his dinner and uh, has a cuddle on my lap. His eyes are a lot better and a little bit cleaned out and uh, he has his lovings. Aren't you Bentley Boo? You Bentley good at us? He's a good boy. Obviously when we were on our travels he was alerted to all the long grasses and things that he was adventuring through so his eyes were a mess. Um, yeah, you were covered in ticks weren't you? Hey, you were, you were getting covered in ticks. Um, yeah, it's a good boy, thank you. And you see, he's just uh, been living outside. He doesn't want to come in at all now. Now he's got over Rainbow a bit better. Obviously, he was sleeping inside in Rainbow's cage for a good week or so. Um, but now he's uh, one feral again, back outside, prefers to be outside. So he comes in for his food. I'm just bringing some food outside for him now so he can eat outside. Um, Good boy, yes. It's been so hot inside. Yes, I know. And there's Chief. You see him, excuse the rubbish pile, but there's the van being decorated. We've got, and then we've got some left spots holding my name on the side. Um, we're waiting for um, the big lion picture to go on the bonnet. It's on the way. Um, being in, in imported. And I've got my name to go on the top of there as well. So, um... I was actually thinking, I was waiting for the world to, 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 you know. What are you doing? Hang on, get rid of the dog, a minute. 
Oh, but that's like a neighbour keeps letting the bloody American bulldog flipping loose. No control over it at all. Good boy, Titi. Was that a dog alert? Good boy, Bentley. So yeah, we've got my nice Bentley loose cuddle on my lap. Um, so you're going to sit under the hedge now. As the shade moves. I'm just going to sit outside and uh, spend a bit of time with these boys. I mean, since I calling me saying, where have you gone? But she's just having something to eat and then she'll go back to her babies. She actually got so dry with her milk that, I mean, I was really worried because I thought, well, why, where's all her milk? But she's bagged up a bit better now. So I know that they sort of drunk her dry before. Um, but she's certainly getting herself bagged up a bit better now. So she's got milk on her. Um, but that was a bit worrying. Just a bit more time away from them now, so it has a chance to sort of replenish. Mm. Good to see Chief up. Like I say, he's not in the woods yet, he's not eating. I've got to watch out, you, you, you know, you'll chase the flies and bugs and eat all the blinking plants and everything, and he's just got real sensitive to it and sensitive stomach and that. So, also trying to get him to eat some, you know, sensitive tummy food, but he's, he's not eating yet. More expense. That vet coffee, it cost me 80 quid. Um, you know, I was just in a road and I bought to the cat's fur, so I could go to like you know, the Blue Cross and everything. I don't know where it is, I'm just give donation, but you know, I, I don't do that. I just go to the nearest and quickest my vets. Um, I have another bill that's gone on the credit cards, but the cat's come first, and um, I have to find out where the that place is. So, But also my bets is uh, close enough to walk to in the pram if the van's not here. Chief, that's the one way round, darling. It's tangled. Chief, tangled. Back up. And eating some biscuits. Just put his meat in the cupboard and in his bottom and out of the way because the flies and the moths keep coming down eating it. And obviously it gets dry and horrible in the sun. That's why his flies are about. He's just eating the chick. So we've got, you can we see the odd foot lying around that the flies are on from the, the old chick? Hey, Chief. Wrong way, Chief. Get tangled. This way, Chief. Back up. Chief, tangled. Chief, getting tangled. Wait, but can see Bentley's coat's gone really, really well. He has, he has like um, a flea allergy. Not as much flea allergy, like a hives allergy. Um, and his skin goes all lumpy, so I have to advocate him every three months without fail. Sometimes more. Otherwise, he just comes up in all these lumps and bumps. Um, so as long as I can remember to do that on time, his coat comes through quite nicely. But again, that's just another expense. Um, that's what you get for all these rescue cats. When I say rescue, obviously the ones that have come from not the best start. Um, I'm not saying he didn't have the best start, I'm just saying obviously things like sort of Connie and Chief and haven't come from the best start and uh, Rainbow Bentley, because they started off on my allotment um, and ended up here. He actually, within his first time of coming to us, he uh, got himself his lip cut on the allotment, um, went to the vets, um, and they just said, you know, to just leave it dropped, you know, seem silly to sort of stitch it all back up. So he's actually got a bottom lip that's sort of a bit lower than it should be. Um, and at the same time, when Rainbow would come with him as well, I mean, they went around the allotment. Um, she had managed to sort of, I don't know, get a nail in her or something. She managed to get an abscess on her chest. Took her to the vets at the same time. And literally was like this huge abscess just sort of going out all over the blinking vet's table. Um, which obviously gave me some antibiotics and I carried on cleaning that out at home. Um, and then she got pregnant. So we went from the allotment to here. Bought, bought them here. Took the kittens here. And um, they've not left here since then. They have, say... So, used to have the back window open to come in and out the bungalow if they wanted to. Um, like I said, what I do now is I'm, I'll probably put a cat flap in the shed. There is a hole in the shed they can get in and out of. And obviously when I'm away I don't leave the uh, bungalow open um, as much now. Well, I don't know, because obviously the cat's been travelling with me. So to say we're opening the bungalow up, obviously he's used to being outside and I will uh, make the shed his home. So we can go in there if it rains or snows. Um, obviously at the moment with the, with the van I've shut the cat flap up 
not that he goes in it anyway because um, Connie will be going in the cattery and going in it and the cat flap will not be used. Um, so I don't want him wanting to sort of get in and out the cat flap at the moment. He's happy he's home. Um, I'm obviously not having any adventuring for a while with him. Obviously when I get back on the road proper then he would be with me. But right now it's just going to be going for a training new kittens that I'll be keeping. Um, obviously travelling with Connie and the kittens in the van as well when we've got to go places. Because I want the kittens to know, especially my kittens, to know that that's their home. Um, so what I'll probably do is raise all the kittens in the bungalow and out on this bit of land out here. Um, but I will be obviously training the ones I'll be keeping. I'll probably pull them out about eight weeks into the van. Um, shit is early, but obviously they're still, you know, with mum and that. And uh, as they're being weaned off, they'll be moving into the van so they know that's their home. And uh, start getting them harness on and start walking them and everything. Because obviously I need to harness train mine out of this litter, really. Um, cause they're not pure savannas. There's somebody asks for that, but um, I think if I'm keeping three, that's going to be enough of a handful to have three kittens being trained with uh, Connie and Chief on the lead as well. So I'll be walking with five on the lead. And uh, how on earth I'm going to get five five cats on my shoulder, I've no idea. You got tangled, Chief. I'm just going to tangle him. Anyway, enough waffled for now. I'm just letting you, just letting you see the boys. I'm going to come out in the boat with the boys outside the bungalow in the morning. And the van's too hot for them to be in there. I'll just sit here in the chair and do uh, that bit of time out in nature. Well, best I can anyway. Give me some fresh air. And give Connie some time away from him as well. You feeling better, Chief? We just need you to eat now, don't we? I'm not eating any more bugs or dirty grass or anything. No? Right, I'll catch you later. So much for me sitting outside with the cats. Someone's pinched my chair, haven't you, Bentley Boo Boo? Can you pinch my chair? Hey? Hmm. Oh. Do you start nagging me till you start eating, mister? You need to eat. Do you need to eat? Ouch! Just jumped up on my shoulder. Hey, Connie, you tell me you've got to eat. Hmm? Chief is full of beans, but he's not eating. Thank you. Go on, go see Connie, go down. Good girl, good boy. Right. Washing a lot. I don't know if it's because he's got itchy skin or anything, or just that he's not caught up a washing for a while. Excuse the state of the room, so I'll see the cat's toilet. <coughs> the state of this place is a good old clean. We've been eating um, chicken, raw chicken legs, and raw chicks on the floor, so the floor's a mess. I've just got. Um, Kitten biscuits and um, the sensitive tummy food and some kitten food on the floor, but he's still not eating that. So I don't want to do with him. You see, he's full of beans, he's washing himself, he's been outside, he's nagging me. Um, but I'm just watching him waiting, I want to see him tuck in, his tummy's rumbling. My fingers crossed here then. Eat something soon. Really itchy. Mm. You all right? Chief? Chief? I mean, that could just be because he hasn't washed for a few days. So he's not been well. Can you knock all that down? Oh dear. Get it onto everywhere. What are you doing? Hey? At least he's more lively, so that's a bonus. Keep, keep, keep. He may not be eating, but he's well enough to climb and destroy everything and get into everywhere. Aren't you, Mr. Chief? I've just been um, trying to name the babies and choose. Um, there's one that's still confusing me. Um, the red colour might be a he-she at the moment. It's gone from being a girl to a boy, from a girl to a boy. 
So at the moment there's four definite girls, four definite boys and one I don't know which way it's going at the moment, I can't really tell. Um, so I'll just go ahead and finalise the names. I've got to choose later. Thank mm -hmm. you.